Hey, Jonathan here at Topsaw. I teach high school wood shop and do tree work on the weekends. We mill out our own lumber and build cool projects from it. I just got this brand new six inch heliarchal joiner from Powermatic. And in this video, I'm gonna open it up, get it set up, and then first tries. And I'm gonna talk about why I like this joiner so much more than my old joiner. out with the old Grizzly. So this is my six inch joiner from Grizzly. This is actually my own personal one I brought into the high school wood shop when I started. And this is getting replaced with a new Powermatic. It's a straight blade joiner. And the new one's Heliarchal. So it's getting unloaded right now. There it is, getting delivered. Direct from Amazon. Alright, two boxes, 80 pound box, and here's the second box. Not sure how this thing's put together, a 243 pound box, six inch heliarchal head, powermatic joiner, made in Taiwan. First. Right there. Got some spare knives. All right, let's open up the other box. Uh, probably the box it sits on. All right, so the reason why I got a six inch heliarchal joiner, um, my own personal one's been in here for years and years. I guess I'll take it back home. But I think once I go to the heliarchal knives, I'll probably never want to go back to those straight blades again. Um, that one's kind of wearing out quite a bit. Changing the knives on that thing is near impossible. The guards aren't as in place as they used to be. They don't spring back. So that's why I got the heliarchal one. If you're thinking, well, why didn't you get a 220 volt 10 inch or big big shop joiner uh, just too hard to get electrical done in the shop uh, I can't do it myself they won't allow me to I have to have the, the uh, electrician do it and the idea of waiting for him to put 220 in um, I'd rather just hand joint before I had to wait for that 220 to come put in so this is the largest joiner I could find that was still 110 all right so this was easy we actually put that 
the whole bed, the whole joiner itself right on there. And then it did have these super cool bolts, um, these super long nuts on there. So that was really easy to do. We dropped the fence on there, set this to the right place. Tighten that up. Put on that guard, put on that guard, hook the belt up. Make sure the belt has a nice tightness. It's cleaning off some of that grease. So you're gonna have to wax this whole bed. Make sure it doesn't pick up any rust. And hooked up the vac system, which is pretty the same as the old one coming out. So there's the central vac. There's the outlet, so it's all wired. There's the old one, looking lonely. Spring-loaded that guard, probably not more than 30 minutes. Yeah, 30 minutes to probably set the whole thing up, 30 minutes to tune it up. So your force that that blade hits this wood and why you get so much chatter out of it. Everybody good on those knives? Okay, and then here's the new one over here. So this is a Powermatic. Powermatic is kind of really one of the better made tools. It is still a six inch joiner. So it's really the same tool. One thing that's really nice with it is it has a much larger in-feed table and out-feed table. The whole fence mechanism is much more sturdy, more adjustable. Um, it's a better built tool than that one. And then the other thing that's nice about it too, Eli, you want to just hold that right there? Yeah. That's the guard. This is a heliarchal cutter head. So on here, you can see that the, the knives actually um, engage the wood in a spiraling pattern. So now when you strike that wood, no part, only a small little part of the knife is actually engaging that wood at any given time, and then it works its way through the wood. One of the other really beautiful features on the CDRCO cutter is a uh, very height as well. You know, so you're getting a spiral pattern on height as well for engagement. And then if you actually damage one of these cutters, you might want to come right up here. If you damage one of these cutters here, you just loosen up that Torx and rotate that cutter 90 degrees. So you don't ever replace the knives. Well, you can, but if you damage one one individual cutter. You could pull it out and put a new one in. Or to sharpen it, you could loosen them all and rotate them 90 degrees. And then not only are they heliarchal, why, why is it all right to put my finger in here? Because it's disconnected from the electricity altogether. Yeah. So, and you could see the number of cutters on there too. So it's probably spinning at the same speed, but the engagement is gonna be a lot smoother because of the heliarchal knives the increase in slope and the number of cutters on there as well, on the disc, on the round part itself. Everybody good to go on that? Johnny? All right, first run. Sounds a lot nicer. Oh my goodness. Is that thing quiet, huh? Yeah. So it started here. That's beautiful. So we got all those saw marks on there. I keep going. Wait, so in feet table height is set at a sixteenth of an inch. That's probably a maximum. the knives cutting the whole time. Oh, beautiful. Let's take a look at that edge. Oh no, that thing's perfect. That is perfect. That is as smooth as a baby's bottom. Oh, I love it. Would you rate this compared to the old one? 11. And the other one was what? Six. Yeah. The other one worked, but it was 
a six oh. out of ten, and this is an eleven. No, I give this an eleven too. I, I always like this brand, Powermatic. I like the sound. I like the finish. It's beautiful. Nice. I like the size of those feed tables. It's a lot nicer. Yeah, it's a lot nicer. That fence is so much better. All right, having this thing for a couple days and using it a little bit, uh, it's worked out beautifully. I'm really impressed with it. It is a Powermatic 6 inch woodworking joiner. It is a 54HH. Uh, face jointed, edge jointed with it. Um, it's not similar to this one. It's probably a magnitude of 10x. I mean, it is really a different tool altogether. Um, fencing is easy to true. The whole thing is easy to keep square. It runs just so smooth and gently. No, no chatters at all. No snipes at all. Adjustments are really easy. Uh, everything about it. I like the one thing that scared me was it showing up in two different boxes with a lot of different pieces, but the assembly actually didn't take me any time at all. And it's kind of nice um, to know how it goes together. Um, it really just a couple pieces kind of put on there, and that's about it. So, this is Jonathan at Topsaw. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll put a link to this joiner in the description. Um, if you liked the video, hit like and subscribe. I would highly recommend this. They, they didn't send it to me uh, or anything like that, so there's no bias. Um, but I would definitely, like that student said, 11 out of 10. So thank you for watching. I do appreciate it.